what is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video and in today's video guys it's something different than to what i normally do today's video i am gonna rank uh different weapons that i think is really good when it comes to zvz all right now this isn't the entire weapons list when it comes to albion online these are just some weapons and i'm gonna rank them okay so as you can see down here where my mouse is these are all the weapons and i'm gonna rank them whether they're good for zvz or not all right please understand that this is my opinion um you guys my viewers are open to your opinion and you can leave it down in the comment section below all right but i'm talking about um in this video uh, damage weapons so i'm not talking about tank tanky weapons you know like the heavy mace and so on i'm talking about weapons that are that can be used as damage all right so on screen right now these are some of the weapons that i like to see when it comes to zvz and we're going to discuss where do i see them when it comes to the ranking system as far as i'm concerned okay so this is just my own opinion um, like i said you guys are open to yours and you can leave it down in the comment section so when it comes to damages and the type of weapons that does a lot of damage i'm going to rank them right now so the first on the list is the gloves all right war gloves any type of war gloves now where do i rank the war gloves when it comes to damage to be honest it depends on the setup for the zerg but all round, when it comes to the war gloves, in my opinion, it's, it's I'm gonna set it here at good, all right? It can be very good, but you, I've seen stupid people use the gloves and are really terrible, all right? So that's, <laughs> that's just my opinion when it comes to the gloves. I recommend it's good. And I do recommend that if you are doing ZVZ that you do have someone playing any type of the gloves, all right? Next weapon is the Infernal Scythe. Now, the Infernal Scythe is kind of like the Blood Letter, but in my opinion, it's a lot better than the Blood Letter. And um, where do I see this ranked when it comes to ZVZ type weapon? I place this at very good, all right? Um, if I could have a Zerg or a party that's like, I don't know, maybe four or five Infernal Scythe, then that's a deadly party right there, all right? It's just instantly deleting everything, all right? So yeah, I, I would rank the Infernal Scythe because it's an execution. I would rank that at number one. Now, can you take the Blood Letter? Um, yeah, but if you're going to use Blood Letter when it comes to ZVZ, I do recommend that you take anything that's 6.3 or higher especially when it comes to the blood letter, okay? So that's why I do not have the blood letter here ranked um, and I'm not gonna rank it. Next is the Rift Glaive. And where do I, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the Rift Glaive for a little bit. The Rift Glaive is kind of like the Round Breaker. Um, you can hit it, no, sorry, it's not kind of like the Round Breaker. It's more like, um, how do I say this? The Spirit Hunter, where you can hit from the distance, all right? And it does a ridiculous amount of damage. Um, so when it comes to the Rift Glaive, I highly recommend when it comes to the Rift Glaive, I'm going to put it up here at very good. Like I recommend the Infernal Scythe and the Rift Glaive both uh, in your ZVZ as damage. All right. Um, just because they do ridiculous amount of our damage and the Infernal Scythe does the execution. Next on the list is the Permafrost. Now, for those of you who do not know, the Permafrost does a huge amount of damage. At the same time, it kind of CCs the Zerg or the enemy or the clump or whoever you're trying to attack in place for, I think, three seconds. I do not know. And I would rank the Permafrost as a very good weapon as well. Together with all these, the Perma, the um, Infernal Scythe and the Rift Glaive, all three of these weapons are a must when it comes to zvz group content uh let's put it at like 20 okay like a medium size um zerg 20 20 so 20 will be a medium size zerg so these three weapons right here is a must to have the perma rift and the inferno scythe you can also take the gloves the brimstone now the brimstone does a lot of damage guys but here's one side effect to the brimstone it takes a long time to cast the e i don't care if you use a morgana's cape and a scholar robe to reduce the e cast time trust me when i say this most of the time you're gonna miss in the past the brimstone was extremely deadly especially when it came to zvz now the brimstone is more used for like bombing all right like the great arcane and brimstone combo so that's a good combo right there with the brimstone and the ga is they can um really do some damage but as far as zvz goes the brimstone i will not recommend it i put it here at uh nah bro <laughs> all right so i put the brimstone here at nah bro. all right next one is the longbow similar to the brimstone the longbow does not 
It takes a while for the E to cast, but not as long as the Brimstone. And it does escalation damage. So the more people that's bunched together, the more damage your longbow does. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen videos of that I used to make in the past where I would solo bomb using the longbow. I only can get those kind of big juicy kills because people will like be in a big group standing next to each other but outside of that um because the damage is a bit slow i will put the longbow in okay okay i will put the longbow above the brimstone and let's say someone wants to play longbow i would say no especially when it comes to zvz uh, like personally just just my own opinion i will say nah no longbows guys um, i swap that out for like a perma all right so swap the longbow out for a perma or something else but yeah the brimstone and the longbow i kind of like the longbow is okay all right but the brimstone i just guarantee no the blazing staff all right the blazing staff is similar to the brimstone but honestly when it comes to zvz type content i'm gonna put the blazing staff right here at the bottom like if anyone's using the blazing staff it's just straight trash um it's not beneficial for the team um it's good for um let's say a bomb squad or like a small scale uh incubus mace type um bomb squad but honestly the blazing and the brimstone are just two of the worst um zvz type weapons and i highly recommend that no one use it in zvz it's great for bomb squad like i said the spirit hunter one of my favorite weapons is the spirit hunter that and the permafrost and as far as zvz goes the spirit hunter i put that at the top here's the re reason why i put spirit hunter at the top it's a ranged weapon meaning you can hit from a distance you can drop your e from a long distance and be safe you don't have to get yourself caught all right so i would put the spirit hunter uh, at the top and mainly because it has the uh debuff where um reduces the enemy i think the enemy's uh armor by a certain amount and i will highly recommend the spirit hunter when it comes to zvz next is the um round breaker now the round breaker also has a debuff where it reduces the enemy's max health when you apply your e and i would re recommend the round breaker just because of the debuff um all together these are items that i have here at the top where it says very good this is a must in my opinion when it comes to zvz and finally the carving now the carving i'm gonna put that at the top as well all right so if you can have these weapons um, as you can see right now a infernal rift glaive perma spirit realm and a carving if you can have all those weapons in one zvz party as damage then you're guaranteed to wipe everyone all right but you um the dps needs to hit on time i can't stress that enough um you can also add in the gloves that's even better together with the gloves um as far as uh, the longbow brim and blazing is concerned as far as dps no i do not recommend them in zvz type content especially um the type of zvz that we have going on today right now on albion online yeah this is probably the meta right now is using the perma spirit realm carving rift glaive and a whole bunch of um, infernal scythes yeah this is my weapons tier guys when it comes to zvz um this is what i recommend that everyone should be running as far as um when it comes to dps or damage maybe next video i'll do one where uh, the best healer type for zvz and the best uh tank weapons for zvz all right but this right now is the in my opinion the best zvz setup when it comes to getting the maximum amount of damage and completely wiping um everyone when it comes to uh zvz content this is it right here on screen right now these are the weapons that i recommend that you only should be used during zvz and it's a great guaranteed wipe anyways guys uh like i said if you have um any ideas or you have an opinion that you would, would like to recommend i guess leave it down in the comment section all right this is not the best build in the world this is just my opinion all right there are other people out there that might have a better build all right so yeah like i said leave it down in the comment section but as for now me from what i've seen and from my experience this is the tier list as far as dps when it comes to zvz anyways guys there's nothing else to say other than uh be good out there and if you can't be good then be bloody careful it's your boy musi and i'm out of here people